Let's go. Corteva. On the left. And Ultra on the right. And yes! Hightower on the further, furthest right. <laughs> the large lad. Like, this guy is huge. Like, he is tall. Like, I am already 1 meter 90. He is bigger than that. <laughs> it, it is very easy by now. Like, um, they did all the... Like, the teams are doing math about this. All the teams are running math calculations. They even talk with each other sometimes. Um, sometimes, however, you know, not, not all the time. Uh, yeah. Not every tactic. Like... Yeah. Um, Tre Trelleborg sometimes goes and is like, hey, hey, we have something prepared. You know, being all mysterious and stuff. Like, they're playing the meta game here. No, oh, man. Psychological warfare. But, yeah, looking good here. I'm right. super happy to see a high tower play. Um, he doesn't often get the chance, um, especially in online tournaments, um, because he used to have a very bad internet connection where he lived. Mm. So for That's online events, that was just yeah. another good thing. So, by the way, both teams again ready for the first fail. There um, you go. So, yeah, I really hope that uh, Hightower has no issues with that today. But uh, maybe maybe something changed there. Um, haven't talked to him in a while. And just a reminder, all of the participants today are playing from home. This is an online tournament. Yeah, 133, good first fail. Where is Corteva's first build? There it comes with Rablix. Very nice. Um, and 118. See, now go. we we essentially have a full bail uh, that Corteva is now missing because they've been so slow. Yep. And uh, on top of that, well, I was going to say that Team Valtra was ahead by almost... One two thousand liters there, but uh, <laughs> Team Cortiva is moving when it comes to harvesting. They are neck and neck right now. It is one yeah. to one. That's almost like both teams at sixty k liters and growing fast. Like the question, of course, is how much, how fast can you um, convert this into bales? Because right now, Valtra is like, hey, we have two bales. How many bales do you have? Yeah. But well, Roblox is like, yeah, fails. Because the <laughs> horse needs to be pulled out. Yeah. That's important well, because you wouldn't believe, like, yeah, the ideal has 17,000 liters, but these fill up pretty fast. And you yeah. only have so much time. Like, the whole of the Farming Simulator League is your 15 minutes. That's How it. do you, in these 15 minutes, in the most efficient manner possible, get as much uh, wheat gone done, and how many bales can you press in the time and deliver? Like, man, I, I remember playing this before watching Farming Simulator League, and I was getting, you know, a couple hundred points, you know, to 300, like 300. I was like, yeah, we won that. That was good. Uh, yeah. Ooh, direct delivery and herbicide. <clears throat> direct, direct delivery, hands down, my favorite uh, drop. Basically, all the wheat that a harvester harvests uh, gets automatically teleported into the silo with a multiplier applied to it. So that's pretty good. And herbicide, we already said it, is, hey, um, all the little weed spots on the field, um, they're going, the harvesters are going to ignore them. Like Rablix is right now driving into one, you can see there. Um, these slow a harvester down, so you want to avoid them with herbicide, you can ignore that, you just go through it. There is one exception, there is one harvester who can uh, go through weed spots and ignore them, and that's the rustle mush. Yeah, which we haven't seen anyone use yet today. No, because it's not very meta. Like, the rustle mush is a fantastic machine, my favorite harvester in the game. Um, but it, it is the fastest one, it has a working speed of 16 kilometers per hour. Um, it has the smallest drain tank, only 10,500 liters. No. Um, it also offloads it pretty fast, but it also has the smallest cutter, uh, like only nine <laughs> meters wide. Um, so it's a, it is definitely a, yeah, this is awesome. However, now it's, we talk, it's, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> we I talk about it. the weeds in the, uh, in the crop and it doesn't look like anybody's chosen that. At least it does, I don't, I don't think it appears to be. 
Um, so how do the weeds in the Farming Simulator League tournament affect things versus how they work normal base game? So in the league, when you, you have these weed patches, they are randomly assigned on each field. Um, and essentially, it, they slow you down. Like, doesn't matter if you're with a tractor or with a harvester, they just slow you down hard. To the point, you want to avoid them. You want to avoid driving through them. And so you want to, like, generally, you want to open paths with the field that you can take as shortcuts so you don't destroy too much of your crop. No. Like, just like in real life. Of course, this is not like in real life where you want to do it, you know, neatly because here you have 15 minutes time and you need to do as much as possible. So a lot of stuff gets just uh, left standing yeah. around because yeah. this is not what the game mode is about. No, there's there's physically no way to harvest everything, bail everything, deliver it all, deliver the bales. There's just not enough time. No, and that's the point. The point isn't like uh, to harvest everything. Um, we, we you thought about something like that like way way back when the first drafts came up for hey we want to do an esport and farming simulator um, but the thing is it wouldn't be that interesting to watch like it would probably like for a few people um, who are more into the whole realism play etc but as like a proper league that uh, you need to cast you need to watch you need to be a bit spectacle and mm -hmm. essentially also what's really good is with these 15 minute games we can also very clearly say hey this uh will take about this and this time otherwise we would be like okay uh it, one game takes one hour and um Ooh. so it's, it's a lot it's, it's a lot it's a while and and oh, look going for an hour Oh, hey, hey oh, doing a direct delivery. Yeah, not not the boost, uh, but like this is a tactic that I think it was Herman who originally started doing it in this uh, league, is where you bring the horse, a filled horse, back to the grain, uh, to the silo, by the way, drop spawned and speed up and uh, bail multiplier. So not that nice. I mean, bail multiplier is also very good. Speed up does exactly what it says on the tin. All your vehicles are 20% faster, and bale multiplier means Ooh. that all the bales you deliver into your barn's uh, upper um, thingy door uh, get an extra set of bonus points. Speaking of multiplier, they are working on it hard right now. Yeah. Uh, it seems like Team Cortiva is unloading just a that. little bit faster, and that would be why right there. Like, um, it, it actually bottlenecks the speed, like, what they're doing there. But because uh, the horse has so much space, it doesn't really matter. So, hey, uh, Kratevar grabbed themselves to speed up while Valtra went for the bail boost. Bail multiplier. So... And they definitely needed that. Yeah, I mean, in terms of uh, multiplier, I think they are... I think they're doing good. I think they're like um, sticking with the. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm, I, I misread the hot. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Corteva two point one. I think that's done now. But so, here you see the multiplier, the bail multiplier in action. Yeah. Normally it would be nineteen points, but because they add another one point five points to it, it's twenty eight points. Which, you know, Valtra is like, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Very happy about this. And we're over, well over halfway done, and we're just finally getting our first bells delivered, which is a little bit different than the first couple rounds. Yeah, bail multiplier, like, that dropping on the field is a lot like, uh, it's, it's basically yelling at the teams, yo, deliver bales now. <laughs> So it's we like, probably won't be seeing such high scores this round as we did last round. Who knows? We'll see. Um, like, the thing is, both teams still work with Transport Company, and Transport Company lends itself really, really well uh, to uh, combos and combo breakers, and these are all, all very exciting. Like, for me, as a caster, I'm like, I want to see exciting gameplay. Like, I don't know, chat how you see that, but I'm here for the <laughs> excitement. I throwing bills i mean that made my day so <laughs> i'm just i'm just here for dj goham and his hat 
<laughs> oh goodness gracious! Like I said, you guys are enablers. Yeah, we're horrible at that. It's really, oh, I'm very sad about this whole affair. Oh, it's, it's just awful. <laughs> I'm actually curious if you're going to see somebody using four bales with that John Deere because it can do that. I think the Lint Track 130 and the John Deere are both tractors that can use for. Well, here we go. There Thank are... you, Nico. Um, oh, oh, is it gonna hold oh, on? No, that wasn't. That wasn't four bales. It was just three. It just looked funny. Boop. <clears throat> Got bopped off. Yeah, but no worries there. Okay. So, 30 seconds to go until we have the super drop. What's it gonna be? And the scores are still very, very close. As a matter of fact, Valtra, um, just a little bit ahead. Yeah. yeah, just a little bit. I mean, in terms of bales, Valtra has more bales. But, you know, the trick is not just having bales at this the, point. The point is delivering these bales. That's, that's yeah. the thing that you need to do. Got to get them in there. And what do we got? Bale Withering! Ooh. Well, that's not as precious. Like, uh, uh, different teams are getting different uh, values on the drops. Uh, like, the team that is behind in terms of points, bales or grain, uh, and other factors um, always gets the better drop. Um, so, yeah. What gives Transport Company? Transport Company means that you get the Anderson Wagon, uh, the Bale Wagon. So that's pretty much the standard tactic by now, or the META. And META refers to an acronym called Most Efficient Tactic Available. That'll learn ya. Did you know that? <laughs> I learned it today. Yeah. All Honestly, right. I'm always amazed when I, whenever I relearn this, like when I forget it and then somebody's like, hey, META means Most Efficient Tactic Available. I'm like, oh. Because I'm used to like the Latin meaning of meta, meaning over. So, by yeah. the way, nobody picked the super drop because honestly, it would have been a waste of time. So it is now go, go, go time. We're going to see a lot of yeah. bell stacking here in but the next couple teams, minutes. Both teams just now giving it to each other. And like, mm, those 21 points rolling. Like, the, you'd think one extra point per well, two extra points per bale compared to the competitor isn't a lot, but it can sum itself up. Like it, it, it can, it can, it can go brrr really fast. Oh yeah. Here's High Tower, the large boy. <laughs> Looking good and right on time. They just ran out of bales. Well, yeah, but there's still 15, 16 on the... Like, uh, I think for Koteva... Where, where is there Anderson? Oh, speak of the devil. I haven't yet seen it at the barn, I feel like. Or maybe I'm not remembering it. But, yeah, Valtra is, like, on top with that Anderson wagon. I never Man. knew what Meta stood for. Well, Nathan, today you'll learn. We all <laughs> learned a lesson today. We've got a lead change. Kotiba coming into the lead here, but yeah, let's take a look and see if these bills are in. Now it's, we're it's back. It's still neck on neck. We have one minute thirty to go, and I I can't make a prediction here. Like, well, uh, I'm well, out of it. <laughs> that's, I mean, I can try. I uh, predict that I, I don't know that it's snowing today. Wait, no, it's sunny outside here. I mean, it's literally down right now to who can load. Who can stack and who can get those bells in that barn the quickest? Yeah. That is all it's down to. And, like, I think the first team that loses its nerves and starts putting bells into the bottom is going to team that loses. But, like, here's Ooh, the thing. Team Foucher is freezing. Ooh. That's the second or third time that's happened. What are they waiting for? I assume uh, internet issues or something like that, possibly. And there he is again. Know. That's not good. That might be a server issue, maybe? Maybe. Way, Hopefully is... just the observer having an issue. Hopefully it's not yeah. the teams actually themselves having that. Like, this okay. is the downside of an online tournament, and this is why I personally prefer offline events. Yeah, much, much easier. Plus, they look awesome. 
Yes, that is yeah. true. Like our even our studio, which by comparison really small, but honestly, but never mind that. 14 seconds to go. Nine hundred four, nine twenty one, nine twenty five to nine twenty one. Come on, come on, come on! There's still bales. Nine forty. Come on. Nine forty six and one They're low. Out. Nine forty six. Come on. Karteva did it. Woo! That was a neck on neck, like holy Ooh. mother of woo! They they just ran out of bells. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> Corteva did the right thing in the end. Like so here we go. This is. I mean, this could be it right here, or this could just be the beginning. Let's do let's, it. Let's do it. Get ready. Mm. Three, two, one, go. All uh... right. I, th I think Corteva had a bit of a better start there. But let's see. So I this... are going <laughs> we... for the New Holland and then aborting. Uh, so we okay. could see a very similar game here as we did the first round. So let's see who's getting the first bell and who is going to be getting that big multiplier for the yeah. grain. Well, both teams picked two harvesters by now, so I'd say we're good. And the right. little fan press. Man. It's like they're copying the uh, each other. Look at that. Well, they can't with the stuff on the pods. Neck and neck. But, yeah, the John Deere bailer and the Fent bailer are two very good bailers. So, and let's see, who gets the first bail? <laughs> so with these there, bailers, Corteva. you get multiple different ones. What's, yeah. uh, what's the difference between the different bailers? Why would you choose one versus another? So the Fent bailer, for example, has... Uh, the Fent and the John Deere both have the fastest work speed at 24 kilometers per hour. Um, they, the John Deere has a higher fill volume, um, but one big difference is, for example, the John Deere can stack bales. That means that you, like, mm. when you have two bales loaded, you can, oh, what was that, Trablix? They We're missed not it. To, oh. So, yeah, um, when the baler is stackable, then that basically means that if you have two bales loaded, Ooh. 14 points, that was not very good. So we've actually got some similar. They had a 118 the first round. Yeah, was, like this is. But that took a lot of time off right there. Mm -hmm. This uh, precious, precious seconds. Like you'd think with 15 minutes, a few seconds wouldn't matter, but it does. So, by the way, yeah, stackable. Um, Bailos that can stack. We have four of these in the game. Uh, essentially means that if they have two bales in the back, uh, you offload one bale. And while the second bale offloads, you close the hatch in the back, so it goes up a little bit. And then you have mm. basically a two bale stack with each other. Like this so is something you can do. <clears throat> and uh, or originally it wasn't intended, but by now we actually uh, balance uh, balers with this in mind. It's uh, I think it's a pretty cool thing. Um, but yeah, is it, the that is, the, I would say that is neat. It's definitely not just, you know, oh, you know, I like this tractor. I like this baler. Uh, there's, you know, there's positives in the, and negatives to each piece of equipment. Yeah. Like the, the big boon of having a new Holland, the case of the corner baler, for example, is that they can carry three bales, but by comparison, they are also much slower. Um, uh, there's also differences in width, uh, <laughs> how wide they are, and uh, yeah, and the horsepower needed, of course. Like the John Deere is really nice because it only needs 150 horsepower. And what's that speed up was picked? What, what's the other drop that uh, that came down? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and yes, this is still on FS19. Everything looking good right here. They're still fairly neck and neck with each other. Yeah, I mean, despite the uh, mistake with the first bail, I think no. the first bail is something you can come back from. Like, even in the first game, uh, I made a bit of a mistake uh, when I earlier said that, hey, the difference is the first bail. Uh, that implied a little bit that um, Valtra made the worst first bail, but Valtra actually, even in the first game, had the good first bail. And here we do, we got Valtra again, getting that early multiplier, just like they did in the first round. Yeah. Ooh, sucking it dry. 
Yeah, both actually are. There we go. So with this... both of these, should be back at two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this it's gonna be like that. Like, this is mostly pushing it into the balance again, but like I said, sometimes it might be viable to just let it be. You know, take that low multiplier. As long as you don't deliver fails, you don't care, and uh, you will get the better drops. So, might actually be viable to, you know, not do that. <laughs> like, like I said, it's not about keeping... Uh, Keeping the points lead all the time. <laughs> I thought the main reason for choosing the New Holland Pela was because it's a sleek, gorgeous looking bit of kit. <laughs> Honestly, word. <laughs> um, I love the New Holland Pela. I, um, I'm actually super, super, like, I, I dig New Holland Pelers and Harvesters because that's a lovely, lovely yellow. Yeah, I was very excited to see the big New Holland Baylor in Farm Sim 22. Yeah, it's a great machine, isn't it? It's, it's so beautiful. So pretty. In the case. Yeah. They're, they're all nice. I like them all. <laughs> they're all, like, generally, we have a lot of lovely machines. Like, people often ask me what my favorites are, and I don't have that many, um, because a lot of machines look beautiful, and then you have some machines that just, you know, the thing is with agricultural machinery, a lot is built for function over form. So beauty is a very eye of the beholder thing. Um, and for a lot of people, I feel it comes down to what they see in real life as well. Like what are they familiar with maybe in some way, either by usage or by seeing it. Like actually when I went to Austria a few weeks ago, back to my uh, old stomping grounds, I saw a lot of like New Holland, I saw a lot of Steyr, of course, because Steyr is like Austrian company. You, yeah. you see them. But I also saw McCormick, and that surprised me. McCormick are some beautiful machines. They do, they do. I was just, I've never noticed them before. Like, now that I work at Farming Simulator, I, of course, more uh, realize how many different brands there are. Like, it's like, I only started differentiating between car brands when I first started driving a car. Then I would, would be like, okay, that's a Hyundai, that's a Renault, that's a Ford, and stuff like that. And now it's the same for me with, with like farming equipment. Of course, I know what a John Deere looks like. I know what a Fendt looks like. I know what a Steyr looks like, etc. So, uh, silo closed and direct delivery. So, silo closed at this point. Mwah, beautiful. Lovely. You love to see it. All right, so. so we've got, uh, looks like our first bell delivery. Which one are we going to choose? Uh, at this point, <laughs> like the second bell, you, there. Perfect. Silo close, bin pick, by Corteva, right at that this. That was perfect. Was, uh, very good. Like both teams closed their silos now, so both silos are closed for uh, a one and a half minute-ish. So what we're seeing now, Corteva has actually got a 2.4 boost. Yeah, on those bales. Kiva, this is so like, now okay. is the time to deliver. But he was like, close our silo. We don't care. We have the multiplier lead. Like, yeah. this isn't hurting us. No, this is a huge, huge help. And look at the amount of grain as well. Uh, you've got Team Valtra right there. Was at 28,000 liters of grain that they can't get rid of right now. Yeah. But they've also got more bales. So. Mm -hmm. Well, now the point, the thing is, you need to deliver them. Yeah. And like the Anderson Baylor makes it faster. Like um, you might think that uh, well, fussing around with the uh, wagon uh, takes more time than is worth, but it actually helps. Like it helps you get it. Like the only downside is you can't directly offload it into uh, the conveyor. Like technically, you can. We have seen that. There have been tactics where people offloaded the Anderson wagon off into the um, in, in, into the conveyor belt directly. But for that, you need to have uh, what you call it. What was this player perk? Uh, easy stacker. That means it's a three-point perk that opens the barn door on top up more when the player is in vicinity. 
All right, here we go. So it looks like the silos are back open now, and Team yes. Valtra is getting that multiplier. They had a ton of grain to get rid of. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Forteva also got rid of their last grain. So we're in the balance, and High, High Tower is like, yeah, it's fine. We, we have the balance. I don't need to stick around for these last thousand liters. And no. you know what? Good on him. It's it's yeah. the right choice. They yeah. need their they need all the players now in the field. It's almost five minutes to go. There still needs bales. To, there still are bales to be connected, uh, this collected. Is, this is Bill stacking, loading, and selling time. Yes, it's time to begin the end game. Like our Ooh. game has lovely, lovely phases. Like you have the you know you have the pick and ban phase, of course. You have the rush phase. Um, you have the uh, you have the mid phase. Uh, you have the preparation phase. Like lots of different phases, and that you can just see. And it's really cool to uh, well see all of that, like play out. Like it's lovely. It's really really lovely. We've we've had a lot of esports people be like, "Yo, this is actually super intricate." We're amazed. Oh yeah, the. It, it... Still, it takes me a while to, to completely figure out uh, Farming Simulator League. Especially, I mean, even when you guys first launched it a couple years ago, I was like, wait, they're, how does it work? That's So that's not like the game. Okay. There's so much that goes into it. It's, yeah. tot it's, tot it's like basically Farming Simulator, but different. Totally different. Yeah. Super drop, by the way. Here we go. Bail so what Straight up. You collect that, you get these bales. Um, not a very interesting um, drop to pick, I must say. Uh, you'd think like straight up getting points is good and is amazing, but like one team had 20, the other had 38. That's one and two bales. Like in the time that you spent driving out there and picking the super drop, you might as well have delivered these bales yourself. Yeah. Uh, two Scotties, yeah. The one in the back who's running on point is a visual bug. It has no real effect on the game, so... Just looks weird. So each team, I mean, they're, they're pretty neck and neck right now. Not point-wise, surprisingly, but what they've got in front of them and their loading capacity. Yeah, like, both teams are now stacking it, like, super hard. Yeah. Okay, getting closer. Team Valtra coming yeah. back now. Now, if you guys didn't join us for the first game in the series, Team Cortiva won. So if Valtra doesn't win here, it's over. Well, it's over for Valtra. It's, it's over for Valtra. Yeah, we're here not, all day. Not for us. We have many more <laughs> exciting games to watch. I'm so ready. Are you ready? Ooh. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> hi, hi, Captain. I can <laughs> hear you. Hi, hi, Captain. Oh. Who lives in the barnyard uh, on the wheat field? Chucky Square Pants. <laughs> <laughs> so 612 versus 570. Um, two minutes to go. Still winnable for Valtra. Like, yeah, okay. Kurt Eva is coming here with the with the bail bomber, basically. Um, but you know, can't eat the schnitzel Ooh. before baking it. <laughs> Speaking from experience, I've tried that. It's gross. So, ooh, got to get a little jump right there. Love it. Yeah, this was so, really, really well made. Like this is about. Whole... To... <laughs> this is coming down. kativa has got one person that's stacking bells, and Team Valtra has currently got three people in the uh, the barn area. This is the. I mean, kind of coming down to the wire again. Yeah, like, it, it's still open, I'd say. Like, yeah, um, it's getting closer. Come on, Valtra. I, I believe in you. Get the turbo on, Scotty. You can do it. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Less and less bells to work One with One minute now. to go. Seven, seven, 772 points versus 690. 812 versus 730. 
Nick snack on neck. And this is almost going to be it right now. Uh, hey, Falcons are almost out of it. Both teams are almost out of bells. Yeah. Five, five, five and four bales for each team, respectively. Hey, Observer, can we have Ghost back, please? Because that would that would give us a good overview over these last 30 seconds. And this is uh, this is almost it. Team Kutiva's only got Look one other Look at that. Vulture took the lead now. 890. But they're out of bells. This is their last one. 892 versus 890. Oh, my God. Kutiva's got the one. They've yeah. got the one. They went yeah. into the bottom. That's it. That That's was it. it. There's no more bells. Man. Oh, what a close one. But holy crap. GG, Valtra. And, of course, freaking good game by Kurtiva. 2.20 uh, now for Kurtiva. Of course, this is not very nice for Valtra right now. But honestly, they played really, really well. Like, kudos. Big kudos, like, oh, look.